All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. The born is unto the elders and apostles of GMS Great Millstone. Shalom to you, I can preach in this word in sincerity, diligence, and the truth. All right, so this uh, this trailer I'm about to play is, um, it's called the New Mutants official trailer. So it's an X-Men movie that they plan on making, or plan on dropping the um, next year, 2018. And when I seen it, through the spirit, I'm gonna I'm I'm just let you brothers watch it, and then I'm bringing I'm gonna bring out the priest. There's a question. I want you to respond truthfully. Have you ever hurt someone? Yes. Have you ever experienced anything to consider abnormal? Have you ever experienced anything to consider abnormal? Yes. Last question. Do you know what mutants are? Did you know baby rattlesnakes are more dangerous than adult ones? They haven't learned how to control how much venom they secrete. All right, I'm gonna go into the pre's now. Now, in seeing this trailer, you know the the regular people of the world they don't see it as as anything spiritual. They see it as oh, it's a new movie coming out dealing with X Men, and it's just a different scenario. But through the spirit, this is Esau's way of putting the elect and torturing the elect. Torturing them in the Lord, because we seen as the mutants, we we the ones with the power. You know, we don't necessarily have the spiritual power yet, but in a, since we do, knowing this word is power. Knowing this word through Yahweh Shem is spiritual power. You know, and in the beginning when she said, "I'm gonna let it play," she said she gonna ask a series of questions. And the last question was, "Um, do you know what a mutant is?" And the same question that they gonna be asking us. Oh, do you know who Yahweh Shai is? Oh, were you out there on the highways and hedges preaching? Knowing they already know the answer, of course. Our, our faces are everywhere, you know? We out there every week in great boldness being steadfast in the word, just like the scripts say. But in every room, it was a different mutant. And the scripts talk about how the uh, the men of the Lord are going to be cast into the prisons. So I'm uh, going to this. It's Revelation 2 and 10. It says, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer, because in that trailer, they were suffering. You know, they was they was being mentally and physically tortured. It says, behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Same thing what was happening with them, that ye may be tried. So that was all a, uh, being a, a, parse, a process of being made white. You know, because the scripts say, um, he that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved. And I'm going to grab that later. It says that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. It's not necessarily talking about uh, exactly 10 days. It's just talking about a period or a length of time. It says, be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. You know, so, so when we put in a situation of being in the, in the camps, in the concentration camps, we are to be, be faithful unto death, you know? Because we're going we gonna, to we gonna be tried on every level, a mental, physical, it's like a mental, physical, and spiritual level. You know, and just like in this trailer, they was tried on every level. You know, they was getting tortured. The the faces that was popping out of the walls, that's uh, mental and spiritual, spiritual um, torture. Seeing seeing sights and things of that sort, that's uh, the demons messing with you. They injecting things inside their body. It's uh, right there, it said to fear. But who are we only supposed to fear? It says we only supposed to fear Yahweh. 
Fear Yahweh while Yahweh shine, you know? It says, fear not those that can, um, I'm about to grab it. It's a lot. This is Matthew 10 and 28. It said to fear. When I uh, clicked it, clicked it back, I'm going to try to go back to it. It's a lot. There is something to fear right there. But what does the script say? And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him, being Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. You know, so we're not to fear men in the position on the earth because they, they have no power in their hands. They still being controlled by our power. You know? It's a lot. But the whole the whole premise of that of this movie is is us cuz we the mutants. You know, we we have that that power on earth through the spirit and power y'all by Shimia Shai. And once y'all by Shimia Shai allows us to have a uh, spiritual power cuz brothers going to get in on this side. Those brothers are going to be uh, fighting and doing the will of the Most High. You know, but this this trailer here, that that's what I've seen through the Spirit, Revelation 2 and 10. Because that's exactly what they're going through. They're casting them into, into rooms, like uh, solitary confinement. That's that's a way to, to break you down. So here goes another another pre, Luke 21 and 19. It says, in your patience, possess your souls. And what does this mean? This mean, this is a heavy scripture, even though it's, it's only six uh, seven words. It says, in your patience, possess your soul. Because patience is a huge thing in this truth. Just like the coming of uh, Yahweh Shai, we got to be patient until that day comes, you know? We can't just uh, try to determine the day that he's going to come by numerology and what these what these other people do. It says in your patience, possess your soul. So the longer you're, you're, you're waiting and you're praying, then that's when later is when Yahweh Shai is going to come, you know? It says in your patience, possess your souls. Because when you become impatient, you start to uh, go off an of impulse. You don't think uh, with wisdom. You don't move with wisdom and knowledge. You act off uh, act off how your body is feeling, you know? And that's not right. That's acting off uh, carnality. And this is Matthew 24 and 13. This is uh, Matthew 24 and 13. It says, but he that sh shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. So that deals with patience too. Because we're going to be put in the situations of what, those, what that movie was put in. You know, certain men are going to be put in those set positions where you got to deal with what Esau is bringing, dealing with torture. That's that's going to happen, you know. We have to all mentally prepare ourselves because we don't know which brother is going to go through it, you know. So we are all to pray for one, not only for each other, but for one another to endure unto the end. Because the scripts say, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. So we got to continuously push. And this is our time to be storing up our, our spiritual bank account, you know. This is our time for us to be in the scripts as, as much as possible and to be in the in the spirit as much as possible and to uh, constantly fast and pray because the times ahead are evil. It's Isaiah 33 and 6 and says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. So in the times that those times, in the times when these times are coming, it's a lot. In the times where these times are coming, we're to be stable with wisdom and knowledge. It says, and wisdom now shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. And the fear of the Lord is his treasure. That's who we should fear, not Esau. You know? So with that lesson, Lord willing, it was edifying. I want to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, the barnes unto the elders and apostles at Great Millstone GMS. And Shalom, so you, I can preaching his word in sincerity, truth, and diligence. Shalom, Akim.